Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel if you're a reoccurring viewer. So today I have a little bit of an unboxing to do. Plus I'm going to show the pen holder difference between being epoxy and then dry as far as after staining goes. How the color changed on it. And actually it came out pretty good and a lot of the wood uh, grain and figuring came out really nice on it after it's done. So I'll show you guys that in a bit, but let's do the unboxing first. Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Eric C, and today I have a little unboxing to do. So, let's get to it. Alright, so as you can see here, it is a guitar case, Ibanez. This is a real, real nice hard shell case. Got some pretty fancy locks on them. So let me open this thing up. Let's see what's in there. Oh, wait a minute here. Something's missing. Something's missing big time. Oh boy. Alright, so if you've seen my last video, and I kind of showed a new project that I was working on. This is the pen holder kind of cru crucifix plaque that I've been working on a little bit. And the outcome of it, as far as what you see here, came out pretty nice. Uh, you can see the blues, you can see the, uh, the dark, the black. Um, there's a little bit of gold as far as browns going on in it as well. Um, bursting it, it came out, came out really nice, came out really good. And thanks for your comments, guys. Um, there are a couple of things inside here that kind of made the hair on the back of our necks after I finish this thing up uh, stick up a little bit. And if you can't already see it, I'll point it out to you. And it's a little weird, but it looks like there's some faces in the figuring of this wood. It's pretty wild. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. So, this is what it looks like before the epoxy, and this is what it looks like after the epoxy. It really changed the look of it completely. The blues thumbed down a little bit, the darks came back up a little bit, but there's more figuring and more lines in the wood that you see uh, that really made this thing really come out nice. All right, so let's try this again. Okay, so I picked up the Ibanez. This is a 2022 SR305EDX-RGC. And this is the Chameleon Rose or Rose Chameleon paint that's on here. So as you can see, as I'm bending the light a little bit with the camera and following the fluorescence, you can see it's kind of going into like a, a tannish color right now. The headstock is a matching headstock as well. It's a five string base. Also has the active equalizer on it. So you have a base boost, you have a mid boost or cut, and you have a treble boost or cut. Master volume, pickup selector, which is kind of nice because you can fine tune how much of one pickup you want from the other. Also has a power tap switch. So you have tap, series, 
or power tack on this switch. You know, normal angled output over here, which has a little bit of rubbing compound in there. I'm going to have to get out of there. But yeah, five string bass. So what I've been doing is I got rid of, or am getting rid of right now, I have on eBay my two Squire basses, the uh, four strings, the P bass and the um, Jazz bass. Those things are up on eBay right now. I don't need those. Um, the basses that I do like are the ones that I'm keeping. And, uh, you know, I did some work on one of the bases. I put the uh, Seymour Duncan quarter pounders inside of one of them. And, uh, yeah, so I've got those up on eBay right now. So this will be my five string. Plus I have another one that is kind of like this one that is a four string. And then I have um, another item as bass as well. So I've been playing around a little bit with some, ta with some tabs. And, uh, yeah, some of the stuff I've been looking at require a five string base so I figured well you know what I'll go and get one all right so what kind of eye candy does this thing come with well really not much of anything besides your normal got your allen keys here for adjustments warranty packet here which kind of turns into a little bit of a poster Scan the code and you can set up your warranty for it, which then I'm going to do. Then your Ibanez owner's manual, basically. Maintenance manual is what they call it. I call it owner's manual. So it gives you everything you need to know for adjusting or setting up the guitar, which I don't agree with some of it because some of their, um, their setup and shit is not what I really, really think that it should be. You set up the way that you want it to be set up. Not a big deal. Battery information, and it goes into uh, different languages. So you only have like what three pages here of information that's maybe useful. And the rest of this book, you know, it's kind of like a little Bible over here. So that's about it. Um, like I said, I've been playing around with some tabs, and uh, some of the tabs require a five-string bass that I want to play with, and I don't have one, so I had to go get one. Alright guys, take it easy, have a good one, and uh, I will catch up with you all later.